It was a few weeks before Easter when the Cubs and Brownies began their rehearsals for the Maypole dance. It was definitely more of a girl thing than a boy thing, skipping around with garlands of flowers and long lengths of ribbon. It was also the time of year when the Brownies would be getting giddy about who would be chosen as this year's May Queen. The only difference this year is the fact that Brown Owl had made a radical suggestion for updating the selection system and for the first year ever, both girls and boys could be nominated. Initially we weren't worried because no boy would ever nominate himself nor be chosen over a girl. It was nothing more than an exercise in equality, balancing boys' rights with women's rights, my mother claimed. But during the May pole dance class one Thursday evening, Brown Owl announced that the eight nominees for this year's May Queen had been chosen. And I'm delighted to inform you that we have five girls and three boys. We all gasped. The cubs began nervously grumbling amongst themselves whilst the brownies began whispering and giggling behind cupped hands. I hope Roland Fletcher's one of them, one of the brownies giggled. Roland countered and suggested one of the younger cubs. Other names were suggested until the Cub Scout leader quietened us down. Once we were attentive, Brown Owl stepped forward and began to read a list of names. Jane Cleaver, Benjamin Preston. A host of gasps and giggles erupted and somewhere in the background noise, one could just make out Benjamin meekly mutter, oh no. Brown Owl continued. Patricia Baxter, Catherine Wolford, Anthony Preston, more giggles and sniggers erupted. I looked over at Anthony who hung his head. Alison Barton, Vincent Jackson, and Barbara Miles. It took a moment for it to sink in. Initially I thought I'd misheard but the sniggers and giggles and all the eyes glancing at me confirmed that I was on the list. What? I blurted. How can I be on the list? I didn't even nominate myself. Bet you did. One of the bigger cubs claimed. I bet you're as big a faggot as those two at home, he added, pointing towards Benjamin and his brother Anthony. The Cub Scout leader yelled at him to quieten down. Brown Owl informed me that I had been nominated and had gained enough votes. I took a deep breath and optimistically told myself that I'm just on the list. Only one of us can be chosen as May Queen and chances are it'll be one of the other seven. Brown Owl called out our first names and asked us to join her before telling all the other boys and girls to continue practicing the Maypole dance. Congratulations. Brown Owl said. And can I just say how nice it is to have some boys involved in this year's May Queen parade. Strange, I was just thinking the exact opposite. One of the girls said she looks forward to seeing us wearing dresses. Only if I'm selected. I ignorantly stated. Mandy's right Vincent, you'll all be wearing dresses on May Day. Surely it's only the May Queen who wears a dress. Anthony said. And what about her seven sisters? Brown Owl asked. All of a sudden it dawned on me. The May Queen is flanked by her seven sisters, and seven of us won't be the May Queen. What if we don't want to be involved? I asked. Why wouldn't you want to be involved? Brown Owl asked. It's a great honor to be part of the May Queen parade. Because I don't want to wear a dress, only girls wear dresses. I stated. Anthony and Benjamin grumbled their agreements. I didn't even ask to be nominated. I added. My mum nominated us too. Benjamin admitted whilst his younger brother nervously gulped. All of your parents approved the nominations weeks ago. Brown Owl told us. Your family, friends, relatives, neighbours, teachers and various other members of the community all voted for you. But, no one asked me. I whined. Vincent, if you're having second thoughts, then I suggest you speak to your parents first and foremost. Brown Owl advised. If you're still having second thoughts, then talk to me at next week's brownie meeting. Okay. I glumly grumbled. Since the eight of us wouldn't be taking part in the maple dance, we were allowed to leave early. We exited en masse. One of the girls expressed her hope that it would be she who'd be chosen as May Queen. 
A few of the girls expressed their hope that it'd be one of us boys. Shut up. I grumbled. Other girls claimed it was wrong to have boys involved. These I wholeheartedly agreed with. We went our separate ways. Eventually I arrived home and my dad quizzed me as to why I was home early. Because I'm not going to do the maypole dance. I grumbled. Why so glum son, he asked. I thought you didn't want to do it anyway. I don't. But someone nominated me for May Queen and I got selected. I mumbled. I see, my dad replied. Your mother's going to be over the moon. Did I hear that right, my sister hollered as she entered from an adjoining room. You're going to be May Queen. Not if I can help it. I muttered. Where's mum? I asked. She'll still be at her book club. Dad replied. In fact I'd better call her and let her know not to pick you up from dance practice.